me and my dad, true to God, we stopped talking for like two months. Like, yeah. cut me off. If you're going to do it, do it. But we're not there. channel guys if you have not yet subscribed mm. then at this point you're wasting time tell these people to subscribe come now why are you wasting time go subscribe it's good content exactly good content for the people yeah facts <laughs> so guys we are back with another black excellence video and today mm. as always we have a special guest and we're gonna hop straight into it so bro yeah, yeah. tell us who are you where do you come from what do you do hi guys i'm tina um yeah man, I'm, I'm South Africa's MCM. Yes, uh, well Africa's wow. MCM, I've come to realize. Guys, I'm Tino Chinyani. I'm a television host, model, MC, entrepreneur, athlete. What led you to the entertainment industry and how did your family receive that decision? So, getting into entertainment was something, first of all, I never even thought about. Growing up, I just wanted to play sport. I was like, I'm gonna play in the NBA, I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play something, I'm gonna be good at it, you know? Mm. You know, they say when you make plans, God laughs, <laughs> right, you know? Right. Um, to even get to ent entertainment. My friend Donald, like, the photo genius Tats, he's now doing his food thing as well, man. Shout outs to you, man. I like that you're growing as well. And he was a photographer, and you know, he was just like, yo, let's do a test shoot. I'm like, this guy's gonna kidnap me. I don't know, because <laughs> he, he literally inboxed me on Instagram. Right. Yeah, he DM'd me, and I was like, ah. I'm very cautious when men slide into my DMs. It's like, what do you want, <laughs> you know? Women, ah, come now, let's talk. But, it's, it's okay when but it's men, it's just like, if you're not talking about money, progress, and just genuinely good vibes, I don't want it. Like, right, don't right. bother me with anything else, you know? And he hit me up and was like, let's shoot. I'd never done a photo shoot in my life. I'd yeah. never been behind the camera. And it was like, okay, it's time to, and, it, and like, even if I show you the pictures. Were you awkward or you like, I wasn't awkward, it was, ah, but in some pictures I was like, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> like, you look uncomfortable, you know? Right. And that's the beauty of it, because the more I did it, the more comfortable I got. Mm, mm. Then it got, went from, I'm comfortable to, okay, who am I now in this, right. in this role, you right. know? Because then it goes from just being comfortable, then you have to identify who you are, you know? You have to identify and say something about yourself and what you want to say to the world. Is. Now, I know that in a lot of African homes, things yeah. such as entertainment industry, art, modeling, yeah. it's not a job. It's like, yeah, yeah you, you like to do it, great. <laughs> but then, what's yeah. your job? How did your family receive that and how did you go about explaining it to them? They did not take it well. Ooh, I remember this one shoot I did. Like you could see my V lines and they were like, you're naked. <laughs> and you know my dad, like he always tells me people send me things and I'm like, who's sending you these things? Who are these agents of propaganda? Right. Parents always have connects, spying. always. And then do you know the thing is, it got to a point where I was like, I, I'm not going to hide from you. If you do so happen to see me holding a drink, I'm I'm just holding a drink. Yeah. Nobody yeah. died because I had a drink. Yeah. Like, literally. So for me, it's just a thing of, um, I well, that's how it started. So basically, they were very uneasy. Me and my dad, true to God, we stopped talking for like two months. Like, yeah. cut me off. If you're going to do it, do it. But we're not there. And you know, I found my 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 feet and I, I love what they did and I, I won't lie like tough love was the best thing that ever happened to me i would not be here i think back on those moments and i'll be like i would not be here because it was now a thing of oh i have to prove to you i can do it now mm. because that's what it is with, with black parents to be honest you have to prove to them that you can do it you know right and it's a fight as i said it's a flight or, or fail thing yeah so it's just a thing of i was just like i'm going to be a rocket i'm gonna fly yeah. and it's so crazy now fast forward after they were just you know felt away my mom was always you know she supported but she was can't, can't make your dad mad so it's you like, know, like yeah like, so she's just yeah but this is my child but like, <laughs> hey hey you know so yeah. she's trying to be a neutral party to it so right. and then it just went to a point where i was doing so much and then they were just like hey this kid is actually kind of doing it you know yeah because then it went from oh, okay it's a topless picture to hey i saw your son on the billboard yeah i saw your son in store i saw him on tv and then it's like oh Oh, okay. Oh, so this, it's a job. You know it's, a it's a job. job. Exactly. <laughs> so then when they started seeing that I could also support myself doing it, that's yeah. when they started to believe. Being someone in the entertainment industry, yeah. what are some things you wish you knew before you got into it that you had to learn the hard way? It's not as real as you think it is. It's really not like you guys. I have met your favorites. 
um, some of them, some of the most beautiful souls I've ever met, and I genuinely was inspired. But a lot of the others, <laughs> you know, I say there's two types of stars in life. You know, right. there's two types of lights, lights, because a star is a light, right? Mm. There's two types of lights, uh, lights in life. So there's people who naturally have a God-given light from within them, right. and those are the true stars, the ones that are genuine. You can get along with them. Only two people will have something bad about them to say, but there's another thousand people singing their praises. Right. Because you you can't please everyone, and that's something you all need to understand, bruh. Live your life, bruh. You can't please everybody out here. Like, who are you, bruh? That's God's job. He's dealing with those emails. Those aren't your emails to sort through. Sure. And so it was just a thing of just be genuine. And as I was saying, there's two lights because there's moths. You know moths are drawn mm. to light. You know insects mm. are drawn. And because you're always around the light, it looks like you two are a... Or a light, yeah. A light, right. a star. But no, you're just around this, like, you're in the right circle. And yeah. You, uh, but then there's stars who genuinely are that powerhouse, that enigma. And I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a fan. I'm a fan when I see people like that. Because it's like, damn, man, what's, 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 what's your story? Because it's a thing of, like, you must never close yourself off to being inspired mm, true. to being motivated just be inspired bro. have some real people around you um, not everybody is your friend they might smile at you they might pay your bills sure. but they are not your friends um, and the third thing is make sure you have a story to tell because if you're a phony it'll show and pray guys because it, it, the, the entertainment is messy pitfalls bad friends bad bosses dirty work environments you come through it all, guys. There's no such thing as a perfect life. Ten billion in your account, two dollars in your account. There's no such thing as a perfect life. You you need to understand that. So it's a thing of make sure you can sleep well at night as well. Okay, so now in the media we see and we hear about and we know about celebrities all the time. They show this lifestyle. They got money. They got cars. They're living a great life. But the reality behind it is that. They broke. They broke. They broke. <laughs> they broke it then, y'all. Facts, facts, facts. Guys, it's it's so easy. To, come on, social media. You need to understand that. And I, thank you, Jason, my brother Jason Goliath, you know, um, comedian. And he taught me the realest thing when, when we did the morning show together. You need to understand that what people show you is curated content. Do you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't make sense that when you've been given a platform to give your best possible self, why would you go show them the worst parts of your life? It True. doesn't make sense. True. So it's just like this frame. Like everything in this frame is perfect. Even though my life could be shambles over there, but yeah. like everything. So that's what it is. And that's what celebrities are good at, unfortunately. Some of them, they do end up making a lot of money, but it's literally a fake it till you make it. Thing. Yeah. We know that truth and we know that's a reality. Now yeah. the question is, how do you ensure that yeah. you effectively use the money that you earn yeah. to make you more money and to actually sustain yourself and to preserve that money and to grow it? Exactly. So first of all, invest in yourself the money that you're making from the work you do make sure that you're reinvesting that into yourself because it doesn't matter how good your job is they're not at the end of the day they, it's not their job to better you as black people we need to stop preaching employment we must preach entrepreneurship we need to start being our own bosses because you need to understand when you get a job you just change your life and your families when you start employment you create jobs for other people and their families. Now, please tell me, which side of the coin do you want to be on? You know? Good so, point, yeah. So, it's a thing of, guys, reinvest in yourself, one, and don't flash with things that aren't yours. You know, don't get me wrong. If you see a Bentley, I mean, come on, it's a Bentley, man. You can aspire, but don't don't make it seem as if it's yours. And don't, right. be, don't be a rental gent if, you know, if you know you're going back to no groceries. Like, think, man, like... Is this a thing of self-care, bro? If you're not taking care of your star player, how do you expect anybody else to? Yeah. Come on, man. Even with everything that's coming to you and it's like, this is gifts, this is that, just make sure that you're buying your own stuff because you don't want somebody, as we were saying, to pull the carpet from under you and you think, yeah. I'm in this. And we've seen it happen. You know, we won't mention names, but you get this amazing life and you're on Instagram, Bentley, and it's like, uh, you don't own none of that. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's just a thing of be real, bro, because it'll always show. So now, speaking of fame, yeah. and in the beginning, you said you are Africa's MCM. Yeah, yeah. A lot of women look at you and they're like, oh my gosh, eh, <laughs> father of my kids, wow. Bruh, y'all need to stop that. You are confusing God now. Because, <laughs> do you know how many emails are there and it's a future husband? An email? Obviously, on God's end, he's receiving them as emails, as these prayers right. that, are, that are just being in his inbox. And you're flooding his inbox, bruh. 
God talked to me and he was like, he doesn't like it. Because he's confused now. Because I've got all of your sisters and your aunties. And some of your uncles are weird. Because it's like, oh. hey. But you know, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, if that's who you are, right. respect that. I genuinely do respect that. But genuinely, please stop saying I'm your future baby daddy. Please stop saying I'm your future husband. Because I've actually got a future baby mama out there. Oy. And... You know, like, come on now. You are blocking. You are blocking. <laughs> you are confusing. It's too much to go through, and there's that message. Ooh. Come now. Ooh. Sort it out. You know. <laughs> Tina says, stop blocking him, y'all. You heard. So now, speaking of you being MCM and whatever, mm. now we want to know since you say you have a future baby mama out there, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. What is your dream woman like? Um, she's thick. Hey, me, I'm an African man now. I need, I need my pop, my fliss, my sadza. Right. You know what I'm saying? I need that bright meat. I need. Bright You know what I'm saying? I need, oh. I need a woman who she needs to look like she likes to eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I like to eat. So if you don't like to eat, I don't get it, man. Everybody loves food. What's going on with you? This is your problem. And you know, you must just also look like a mother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want, you want to come home and just smack that booty and it's just, and it's just waving back at you. It's like, oh my God. Hit it with the left. Hit it with the right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like literally, like, you know, I'm that gen. Like if your booty is looking too approach, I'm a smack gag. You know, I'm going to be, because I, I have to discipline the booty. It's doing too much, you know? Whoa, yeah. So yeah. I definitely like my women well fed. Mm-hmm. If you guys were asking, I like them. And I also like uh, an educator individual somebody with a character personality someone who can also make me laugh because me i don't like to take life too seriously right you know? sometimes you do sometimes you can because being an adult is tiring guys you know Yuck. shout out to our parents because they do that 24 7 it's tiring but like for me i groove so she must also be able to you know move groove. a little bit last question yeah we are sitting here we're doing an interview for the black excellence series yes yes and i want to know from you what is black excellence man black excellence um it has been taught to us in so many different ways and i like to keep it as real as possible people are jumping onto this nipsey craze right now but you don't know why he died and it's like you guys don't even get it nipsey died because he was telling the truth he was black ex- he lived it and i'm sorry i'm not trying to ride waves or anything but that is the truth he was black excellence he was trying to uplift his community in california mm. when everybody in the summertime is trying to reach for a gun he was trying to put these guys in jobs he was literally he did so much for his community and i don't even know the full extent if you guys don't actually know what he was about i urge you not just to be like nipsey nipsey go and find out who nipsey hustle genuinely was he was black excellence he lived it and it's 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 being bigger than yourself Mm -hmm. black excellence is realizing that you are not just a famous person you are a vessel you are a vessel to uplift your community and your people and that's what nipsey did like he touched millions of hearts you know yeah and i hate it because now you want to give him the recognition he deserves that's messed up that's so messed up appreciate people whilst they're still alive guys you don't we don't this life thing is short appreciate them whilst they yeah don't wait okay so we've reached the end of the interview (laughs) and something that i like to do with all my interviews is i've got here a list of tongue twisters Mm. and you have 30 (laughs) seconds to pick one at Mm. random and try to recite it as fast as you can in 30 seconds i hope it's not nothing weird i don't (laughs) Because then that, that'll, I don't want to be a meme tomorrow. And then you're like, you're saying weird <laughs> things. But cool. No, cool. no it's not It's a game. It's a game. Let, let me not it's, a it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. All right, let me get the timer. Cool, cool, cool. All right. In three, yeah. two, one, go. Oh, that's thick. Oh, okay, this is one big one. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter P- Piper picked. Faster. F- okay, Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Uh, Peter Piper picked. Yee. No? Yee. No? Uh, Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, I'm literally like, why are there so many P's and I's? And it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot. <laughs> Trying to confuse the boy. Woo! Okay. Guys, my name is Tino Shiani, and this has been an absolute pleasure. I am a television host, a model, an entrepreneur, an MC, uh, athlete, and just all around amazing guy. You can also check me out. I'm also on YouTube. I'm not making content half as good as her, but I'm proud. Wow. Like, come put it there, babe. You're doing the things. Thank and you. And this has been Black Excellence with Benita Daniels, and it was dope.
again. Go watch it and watch it again and then watch it again. And subscribe and share and do everything. You know what I'm saying now? Go tell your uncle to tell his uncle to mm -hmm. tell their aunt to tell their daughter that you are watching Black Excellence. Right. And <laughs> that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys. Peace.